Padre. The silent. <laughs> Audra and Michael have lit a remembrance candle for Audra's mother Dixie and Michael's grandmother Kathleen. They are not here with us physically, but they are here in Audra's and Michael's heart. Audra and Michael, today you are surrounded by your friends and family, all of whom are gathered to witness your marriage and to share in the joy of this occasion. Life takes on meaning as it becomes composed of many meaningful events, some of which can be specified and planned for. One of these events is marriage. As you know, no one can marry you. Only you can marry yourself. By a mutual commitment to love each other, to work toward creating an atmosphere of care and consideration and respect, by a willingness to face the tensions and anxieties that underlie human life. You can make your wedded life come alive. Deep knowledge of another is not something that can be achieved in a short time. And real understanding of the other's feelings can, de can develop fully only with years of intimacy. This wonderful knowledge of another person grows out of truly caring for the other so much that one wants to understand as completely as possible what that other is feeling. Thus, it is possible to share not only joys and successes, but also the burden of sorrows and failures. We must give ourselves in love, but we must not give ourselves away. Love is not meant to be cared, not to be, and cannot be the possession of one person. True love serves as a source of common energy, as a fountain from which you both draw sustenance from, to live your lives with creative courage. From this day onward, you must come closer together than ever before. You must love one another in sickness and in health, for better or for worse. At the same time, let your love give you the strength to stand apart, so that you may each seek out your own unique destinies and make your special contributions to the world. <coughs> Remember always that love, loyalty, and trust are the foundations of a lasting Who presents Audra to be married to Michael? I do. <laughs> to our Creator, we ask your blessing upon these rings, that they may be constant symbol of Audra's and Michael's unending love and devotion. Your rings being circles are symbolic of eternity, having neither beginning nor end, and represent love which has already united your hearts. The vows through which you accept each other as husband and wife have no hidden power within them, only to the extent that they express in words your continuing intention and commitment do they have meaning. The expression of today's vows is an important and visible milestone in your journey together. Audra, take you, Michael, to be my husband and my best friend, helping you along the way with all life circumstances as we face them together. I promise to be honest, caring, simple, and faithful. Love you as you are. Love you as you are, and to grow old by your side, and to grow old by your side, as your love and your best friend, as your love and your best friend.
I, Michael, take you, Audra, to be my wife, my best friend and my lifelong companion. I promise to stand by you through all the bad times as your husband. Enjoy all the good times as your best friend. I truly love you with all my heart and look forward to many, many years as your lifelong companion. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Michael, you may kiss your bride. Michael Finney. Uh-oh, what? <laughs> 